Mark Peterson, Construction Pro Tips. We're going to do a little test today. We're going to test out construction adhesive. I don't know if you've been, you've bought construction adhesive lately. If you go to the home center, um, there's about 20 of them on the shelves. Which one is best? That's what we wanted to know. So we bought, we bought a bunch of them. We stuck with ones that work on supposedly multiple surfaces. So we're going to test two types. We're going to do wood. We're going to take these wood blocks. We're going to glue them down um, to this 2x10. And we also have some PVC blocks. We're going to glue those down as well. And I have, little, I have these little uh, notches in there just so when we're going to hang a rope. We're going to flip this up. and we're, They're all glued down. We're going to hang a rope off of them with a 5-gallon bucket. And we're going to fill a bucket full of sand. And when they snap, we'll weigh the bucket and see how much weight they held. So that's what we're going to do, PVC and wood. First thing to do, we're going to let this, we're going to glue all these down and let them sit for about 36 hours. Most of the ones that we bought have a, um, a cure time of 24 hours, but we're going to let them sit a little bit longer than that. So let's get started. We wanted to make sure the test was fair and each block had the same amount of adhesive. So we globbed some on there and then spread it out with this little plastic notched spreader. Whoops, that wasn't part of the plan. All right, here's the deal. They've all sat for 40 hours, and we're ready to do our tests. We got the bucket, we got the rope, we got this, uh, we're gonna put it at the same area. But we played around with a couple beforehand, and what we noticed was there's two elements to this. There's the weight, and there's also time. Uh, at first, we were just gonna fill up the buckets with sand, and then wait until it, they broke, but it all depends on how fast you fill it up. And if it sits for, you know, if you fill a bucket halfway, it might. It might last for a while, but maybe after an hour it, it collapses. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a bucket of, you know, one gallon buckets, put it in there, mark 10 minutes, do another one, 10 minutes, 10 seconds, <laughs> not 10 minutes, mark another one, or uh, fill another one, 10 seconds, fill another one until they break. And if it does fill all the way to the top, which would be pretty amazing, uh, we'll have some 10-pound weights we can throw on top of there and some 25-pound weights. And so it'll be, and then when we're all done, we'll weigh each one to see how, how they did. So that's the plan. Let's get started. This liquid nails product, the Ultra Quick Grip, as you can see, it really didn't even fail. It, ha it held a ton of weight, but the wood substrate behind it is what failed. The adhesive actually was still holding.
This was our winner. It was a Loctite product, the PL Fast Grab Premium. It held a whopping 115 pounds, and like that other Liquid Nails product, the adhesive actually was still holding. The wood substrate behind is what actually gave, gave way. None of the adhesives worked as well on the PVC as it did um, just the wood-to-wood -wood bond. And that makes sense because PVC is less porous than wood, but some of them performed surprisingly well. The winner on the PVC test was the same as the winner on the wood test. It was the Loctite product, the PL Fast Grab Premium. It held 92 pounds, which was more than a lot of the other products held on wood-to-wood. -wood. I put these tubes in my chest freezer for two days and it's like 15 degrees in there. Uh, so they're all pretty much the same. Um, I did the FLIR check and with the infrared camera and the outsides of the tubes are about 20 degrees, but they're warming up. But the inside of the tube should be all roughly about 15 degrees. So I'm gonna see how, how or if at all they work when they're cold. So I'll check this out. Some were easier to do than others, but for the most part, they either worked or they didn't work. So we rated them, either they passed or they failed. These are the five that passed. In this bucket is some water and in the water are some wooden blocks. We are going to see how well these adhesives work on wet materials. Some of them don't claim that they do, but some do claim that they do. So we're going to see which ones do and which ones don't. All right, let's get started. I stuck a weight in here to keep the blocks down. So we, they've only been submerged for about an hour, but that should be plenty. So I have one block that's labeled with the type and one just regular one. So we got iron grip. Iron grip, that's the GE product. This one I'm gonna, it's not gonna be as, uh, as scientific, which how much I use. I'm just gonna glob a little bit on there. So I think they're either gonna work or they're not. Ooh, it doesn't look like it's sticking very well, does it? So I'm just gonna wiggle them, see if they come off, and if they don't, I'm gonna tap them with the hammer. And if they hold up, they pass. If it breaks off, because you saw how much, how strong these things are, so they shouldn't just be able to tap off with the hammer. Um, so that's it. Here are the six that passed the wet test. All right, that's our test. 
If you are looking for the strongest construction adhesive out there, in our opinion, after what we've tested, it is this it's Loctite product, the PL Fast Grab Premium. It held, on the wood, it held 115 pounds. On the PVC, it held 92 pounds. However, this is our second favorite, uh, and maybe, depending on what you're doing, could be your favorite. It's the Liquid Nails Fuse It product. It was the second strongest. It held 100 pounds on the wood and 64 on the PVC. But the nice stuff about this is it passed both the wet, it works both when it's wet and when it's cold, and this product did neither of those things. So, but I don't think you can go wrong with either of these. And if you want to see how all the other uh, products did individually, go to our website, constructionprotips.com, and check out the whole story.